Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, group five. How do you do? Good morning, guys. I hope everybody's feeling excellent. All right, let's go into our circus on calendar. So we said yesterday that we are in a brand new month, right? We said bye-bye to May and hello to June. Hello, June. Um, and we see that there's ice cream and watermelon next to June because those are some of the treats that we have during the summertime. And we know that summer is coming in June, right? All right, let's see the months, the days of the week. Let's sing the days of the week song. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday, then there's Monday. There's Tuesday, then there's Wednesday. There's Thursday, then there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right. So we know that yesterday was Monday. And it was the first day of June, number one. So if yesterday was Monday, one, today will be t -t -t Tuesday, number, what comes after one? Two, right? Today is Tuesday, June 2nd. It is the second day of June. If today is Tuesday, what will tomorrow be? And what number do you think tomorrow will be? We'll find out tomorrow. All right, let's see. Let's look at our how many now. So let's see. How many do we see here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But what if I did this? One, two. How many now? One, two, three, four. Five. So we have five dots now. So we had seven, but I took away two red dots, and now it is five. So seven minus two is five. Very good. Okay, let's go into our unit. And we are in our unit transformation. You remember that word from yesterday? Let's say it again transformation let's clap transformation here we go transformation one more time transformation how many claps are that transformation four claps right so it has four syllables big word and all it means is how things change change it's a big word for change so this week, we're looking at the changes that are around us. So yesterday, you did an activity with string and how you can change the string around, right? That we looked at, Miss Nicole did. Today, we're going to look at how feelings change, right? So sometimes we can feel happy. Sometimes we can feel sad. Sometimes we can feel <gasps> surprised. Sometimes we can be angry so our feelings change right so we're gonna look like all those do all the different types of feelings and we're gonna do an activity with feelings okay i'll see you guys later <laughs> 